The Big Bang Theory, long accepted as the leading explanation for the origin of the universe, has been a pillar of cosmological thought for nearly a century. This theory suggests that the universe began as an infinitely dense point about 13.8 billion years ago, which expanded rapidly, giving rise to galaxies, stars, and planets. However, recent discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have sparked discussions among scientists, leading some to question whether the Big Bang Theory may need significant revision. Could the Big Bang Theory actually be wrong? While the theory has withstood many challenges, the data from the JWST have introduced a fresh perspective that may compel us to rethink the early history of the universe. This article will explore the implications of these findings and the broader discussion around the nature of cosmic origins. Understanding the Big Bang Theory Before diving into the Webb Telescope's contributions, it's essential to understand the basics of the Big Bang Theory. First proposed in the 1920s by Georges Lemaitre, the theory was developed as an answer to one of the universe's greatest mysteries. How did everything begin? According to the theory, the universe began as a singularity, an infinitely small and hot point. A rapid expansion followed, often misunderstood as an explosion, distributing energy and matter that would form the universe's structure over billions of years. This theory has been supported by multiple lines of evidence. One of the strongest pieces of evidence is the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, in the 1960s. This faint radiation is thought to be the afterglow of the Big Bang, permeating the universe in every direction and providing a snapshot of the universe 380,000 years after its inception. Additionally, the observable redshift of distant galaxies, first noted by Edwin Hubble, has supported the idea that the universe is expanding, another critical component of the Big Bang theory. However, the Big Bang theory has never been without its challenges. There have been unresolved issues such as the horizon problem, the flatness problem, and dark matter and dark energy's roles. Still, it has been the best explanation available until now. The James Webb Space Telescope, a new eye on the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, launched in December 2021, has opened a new window into the cosmos. With its ability to detect infrared light and peer deeper into space, and thus further back in time, than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST allows astronomers to observe galaxies formed shortly after the universe's birth. As scientists began analyzing the first batches of images and data, they were surprised to find galaxies that seemed far more developed than they expected at such an early stage of the universe. According to the Big Bang model, the early universe should have been a chaotic, dense environment, where galaxies were just starting to form and evolve. Yet, the JWST has spotted galaxies that appear mature, containing stars that are older, larger, and more structured than previously predicted. One of the most striking revelations is that these galaxies were formed just 200 to 300 million years after the supposed Big Bang. Based on our current understanding of cosmic evolution, such mature galaxies should not have been able to form so quickly. The existence of these galaxies so early in the universe's timeline raises critical questions about the fundamental assumptions of the Big Bang Theory. Key Discoveries Challenging the Big Bang Theory 1. Mature galaxies in the early universe One of the JWST's most surprising findings is the existence of galaxies that exhibit characteristics of maturity much earlier than current models of the Big Bang would predict. These galaxies appear fully formed and structured, with stars that should have taken far longer to evolve. 2. Stars defying the chronology of cosmic evolution. The stars observed in some of these early galaxies are massive and evolved. According to Big Bang cosmology, star formation should have taken longer due to the gradual accumulation of matter. These stars' existence so early on suggests that the processes responsible for star formation might have occurred more rapidly or through mechanisms we do not yet fully understand. 3. Lack of population 3 stars. The first stars, called population 3 stars, are thought to be massive, metal-free stars composed entirely of hydrogen and helium. These stars should have been the first objects to form after the Big Bang, providing the seeds for subsequent generations of stars and galaxies. However, the JWST has so far failed to detect any population 3 stars in its observations. This absence raises questions about the timeline of star formation and whether our understanding of the early universe is complete. 4. 
Unexpected galactic distribution. The distribution of early galaxies observed by the JWST does not align neatly with the expected results of Big Bang cosmology. According to the theory, galaxies should be distributed in a way that reflects the overall expansion of space. Yet, the JWST's observations suggest a more complex distribution of mass and energy, possibly indicating an alternative process at play. What does this mean for cosmology? The JWST's discoveries have set the scientific community abuzz with debate, leading to several potential interpretations of what these findings could mean for cosmology. Here are a few possibilities. 1. The Big Bang Theory may need to be revised. The most conservative interpretation of the JWST's findings is that the Big Bang Theory is still largely correct but requires revision. These unexpected early galaxies may indicate that our models of cosmic evolution, particularly star and galaxy formation, need refinement. Perhaps stars and galaxies could form much faster than we previously thought, or perhaps there are unknown processes that accelerated the formation of cosmic structures. Revisions to the theory could involve changes to our understanding of dark matter, dark energy, or the role of black holes in early galaxy formation. While such adjustments would be significant, they wouldn't fundamentally overturn the core idea of a hot, dense beginning to the universe. 2. A new cosmological model may be emerging. Some scientists believe that the findings from the JWST could signal the need for a more radical departure from the Big Bang model. In this view, the universe's early history may have been far different from what current cosmology suggests. Alternative theories, such as the steady-state model, which suggests the universe is eternal and constantly creating new matter, or the plasma cosmology model, which focuses on electromagnetic forces shaping the universe, may experience renewed interest. If the JWST's observations continue to challenge the Big Bang framework, it's possible that a new cosmological model could emerge one that could explain the universe's origins and evolution in a fundamentally different way. 3. A multiverse or cyclical universe? Another intriguing possibility is that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of the universe, but rather a phase in a larger, cyclical process. Some physicists have speculated about a Big Bounce theory, which proposes that the universe goes through cycles of expansion and contraction. Others have pointed to the possibility of a multiverse, where our universe is just one of many, each with its own physical laws and properties. The JWST's data may not directly support these theories yet, but the idea that the universe could be older or more complex than the Big Bang suggests is gaining traction as a result of these discoveries. The future of cosmology in light of JWST's discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope is only beginning its mission, and its future observations will undoubtedly provide more data to test the Big Bang theory and other cosmological models. As scientists continue to analyze its findings, we can expect both breakthroughs and controversies as we strive to understand the universe's origins and evolution. What is clear is that the JWST has opened a new chapter in cosmology. Its unprecedented ability to peer into the universe's earliest epochs has already challenged long-held assumptions and may even revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. Whether the Big Bang theory is ultimately proven wrong or simply revised, the insights provided by the JWST will continue to shape the field for decades to come. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries mark a pivotal moment in cosmology. The questions they raise about the validity of the Big Bang theory invite a deeper exploration of the universe's true origins, whether through subtle modifications or entirely new theories. One thing is certain. The cosmos is far more complex and mysterious than we ever imagined.